Hello, I'm Javis Lewis and in this series I'm going to teach you everything I know about Storyist. That is a writing software for both macOS and iOS and it's greatly helped me transform the way I write things. I, uh, I've recently published a book, my second book in fact, it's called Broken Bowels. I'm currently waiting for a copy to arrive from Amazon, should be here tomorrow so I can show you how it works and I did everything from the writing, from the conceptualizing, writing to all the publishing stages, so of course printing on my printer at home, uh, to creating an ebook in various flavors for both for uh, EPUB and for the Amazon.mobi format, as well as a PDF. And I've also created a print-ready PDF for upload to uh, publish to be published as a paperback at KDP or CreateSpace. And I did all that without ever leaving a single application. And that is Storyist, and it, it provides great tools for that. Not just that, but also for create for the creative writing process. So I used to be a long Word user, Microsoft Word, as well as Pages, um, and I've tried various others. I'm of course familiar with things like the web interface for WordPress in a web browser and what all these options are lacking really is a way to navigate a larger document so they're great for things like writing a document or a chapter or a small thing really like a blog post but as soon as it gets into the realms of several thousand words like 50,000 100,000 words it's very difficult to navigate in these softwares your long types of text It's also what these programs don't have, what Stories does have, is uh, things that support the creative writing process. So things to get your thoughts organized. So I'm thinking of screenwriters here who don't start at uh, Act 1, Scene 1 and start writing dialogue. They're going to write dialogue for a character, so they have to think about the character first and the other characters that this character will interact with. And they're also going to have to put on paper which settings this character is going to interact with, with whom and what happens. So all that happens before uh, a single line of dialogue is written. And uh, also you have to think about what the story is about, so what happens in which scene. So screenwriters and novelists do that, fiction writers do that. I don't use those tools, I'm not a fiction writer, I write non-fiction tech articles and sort of diary style things, blog posts, that's my, my kind of thing. But uh, nevertheless, sometimes I do have a few points that I want to bring across. And it would be really helpful to outline these points before I start writing about them. And this is where Stories can help. These are, these are the, the tools that Stories brings to the table. So um, I'm making this because this is all fresh in my mind. I've been using Stories since 2012, I believe. Stories 2 since 2012. And then at some point, Stories 3 came out. And that was when NaNoWriMo 2012 happened. My wife and I had just both moved to the US and I thought uh, using NaNoWriMo to put down all my experiences of what, what has happened in the first 30 days of our arrival uh, was a great way to do that. And I used Stories for that and it was, it was a great way of doing it. So before we get into the meat of things, let's uh, have a look at the Stories website, which is where you get the software from. You can either download it for your Mac from the website or you can get it from the Mac App Store. It's at storiest.com and you also get it from the Mac App Store, sorry, for the iOS App Store for both your iPhone and your iPad. And uh, this is what the website looks like. So it gives you a little overview of what the software can do for you. And uh, look at that, you can also see uh, tweets from people. So this is my tweet when I've uh, broken the 100,000, 110,000 word mark and Stories helped me do that. So it's uh, very kind, you get, you get to see um, your own tweets on the front page if you um, copy Storyist in, at Storyist. I wanna make you aware where to actually get it. So uh, up here you've got these two tabs, you've got for Mac and for iOS. So this is where you get the software and you can download a free trial version here as well. That's not possible with the iOS version kind of due to App Store limitations really. This is where you get it and uh, you can you have various support options. So if you get stuck just before we, we uh, start with the meat of things, there's a support tab at the top. And this is where things, uh, this is where all the resources are at your disposal. So on the Mac front here, you get to read an online version of the user guide. You can also download the same guide as a Kindle version, an EPUB version, and a PDF 
depending on what screen reader or what e-reader you have. You have several downloadable versions here. And you have the same for iOS. So you can read it online or you can download them even in various languages here. So um, the online user guide looks like this. So on the left hand side you have kind of a table of contents and on the right hand side you've got a very long web page into which you jump depending on which link you click on here. But that's not the only thing you have. There's also something that is uh, often overlooked and that's kind of again in the support tab here. There's also the how-to page. This is under the tutorial section here. The how-to page looks a little bit different. It uh, looks similar. So you've got the table of contents on the right hand side here but you have articles that um, Steve Shepard, the programmer, uh, has written here. He's the author of Storyist. And uh, the great thing about Steve is he's very responsive. He's very, he takes good care of his project. It's been around for over 10 years, so it's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. And uh, the, he's also a writer. He's an author. So he's not just a programmer, which is a great help. He, and he understands what it means to be a writer. And that is, I guess, why he's, why he's written it. Uh, yes, kudos to Steve for having done that. So these are little articles here. If you have a question about it, this is kind of a workflow thing. If you want to know how to create a PDF, then you click here and then uh, you have kind of a tutorial of how it works and you even have sample files of how to follow along just in case you get stuck. And the final thing I want to bring your attention to under the support tab once again is the stories forums that's down here on this section. So there's also a frequently visited forum section that uh, on the top here you have anything for, for the Mac version. Then here's the iOS version or stories for iPad. It's kind of stories for iOS really. Um, and then on the bottom here you have uh, kind of an everything and anything section. So the writing process, how you do it, how others do it, this, is, this can be discussed here. So it's um, very convenient. You've got, you've got it all in place and uh, there's always people happy to help you with uh, what you're going through. And last but not least, there's, as always, there's just one more thing. If you have found a bug in Stories and you want to bring that to Steve's attention, uh, then you can email him here at support at stories.com and that'll raise a support ticket. If you found anything that's out of the ordinary, do let Steve know. He's very eager to um, improve the software and he's doing a marvelous job at doing so. So with that, all that out of the way, let's get started with how to use Stories in the next video. Stay tuned for that. 